a lavish hotel, a family secret, a book of puzzles, and a veil of magic. Hello fellow book questers, it is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I have this awesome, epic, mystery fantasy book to review to you guys. Winter House by Ben Gutterson. And well, let's get right on to it. This book is about Elizabeth. She loves books just like me and she pretty much read all the books that I read and much more. And she was sent to this dreaded hotel by her quite malevolent aunt and uncle who are kind of like a, you know, kind of evil Count Olaf kind of people, you know. A series of unfortunate events, anyway. And they're that kind of people, and they just sent her to this hotel. And this hotel is possibly one of the best things that ever happened to her. It has a pool, it has, it has skis, it has all sorts of wonderful stuff, and it has a huge library. And it's such a luxurious hotel that basically Elizabeth is like, what? Because she knows that her aunt and uncle are poor. There is no way that they ha could afford the money for her to go to this lavish hotel. So, what the heck happened? Who is behind the scenes? Pulling the strings? Well, we'll find out. And meanwhile, our dear Elizabeth is enjoying herself in the Winter House Hotel. She has made a friend, Freddy, who is one year older than her and who is a inventor and who also loves anagrams and word puzzles just like her. And together they become friends. And then she starts to hear the strange stories about many, many secrets of the Winter House. And one of those secrets is about the sister, the sister of the owner of the hotel. And, well, we need to be ready, because there is something amiss. And she has found a book. A beautiful book that says that is about teaching children how to enjoy their lives, basically. And it's a great book, and it looked hundreds of years old. But she may have found something very, very valuable. And meanwhile... She, she one day is suddenly compelled to say a particular dead woman's name three times at midnight. And some sinister things are happening. A weird couple keeps asking her questions and at first seems cold, at, then seems nice and is, is being weird. And they're super suspicious and we don't know what they are up to. And our dear Elizabeth is feeling these feelings, basically. She calls them her feelings. And she, when that comes over her, something bad always happens. And it seems to her that there is some sort of power inside her that she has not discovered yet. Can Elizabeth find out the secrets of the Winter House? I don't know. But I'll just say one thing. The answer is always around her neck. To be honest with you, this was a real page turner. I could not wait to finish the book. And I am very excited for book 2, The Secrets of the Winter House. And to be honest with you, this was very interesting because I was definitely reminded of The Green Glass House, one of my all-time favorite mystery books. But it has an element of fantasy in it. And as everyone who watched my channel knows, I love fantasy. So that mixture between mystery and fantasy was basically the best thing ever for me. It was super enjoyable. And the thing is, it never lets you go. It is an absolute page turner, as I've already said. Because of the super complex plot and the really, like, magic and all that but it isn't like a real fantasy like harry potter or mr potter you're a wizard no not that kind of fantasy it's a kind of fantasy where you don't know if it's a fantasy or a realistic fiction until the very end of the book and that is what i call a true masterpiece of a book 
I don't want to reveal too much because it is a mystery book. So I don't like spoiling mystery books mostly because I once went through half of a book and wanted to solve the mystery and searched it up online and it totally ruined the experience for me. So I don't want that to happen. So I guess that is it. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. That was it. One of the greatest mysteries ever that I have ever read. And Elizabeth, I can totally like, because she reads all these books, and those books I have definitely read, and I have a link of empathy for her, I would say. And otherwise, it's a great book, and I would say a must read.